All right, budget homestead 23 uh, pig update. Uh, we uh, well, we butchered one of our pigs recently. Took a, a home uh, butchery uh, course class from a girl who uh, taught it, and she's only a senior in high school. And uh, but man, it was a great, great fucking experience uh, uh, learning that. So. Uh, Learned a lot from that. Uh, I'm pretty good. I could get down. You know, it's going to take me a few more to get under my belt before I'm uh, really, you know, efficient at it. But uh, you know, the putting them down and and uh, sorry about talking about this in front of you, buddy. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, and uh, dressing them out and skinning them and fattening them. That I'm pretty good on that. The only thing that was tricky is learning all the different cuts, man. That's really. Uh, that's really like an art thing or something, learning all those cuts, but uh, we'll pick it up and goddamn it, uh, it's fucking good, man. But uh, anyway, uh, and they were too big. They're, you know, you're, you're supposed to be about 225. They were up, they're over 400 pounds. So we have the chest freezer, you know, uh, packed with, uh, with one of them. Uh, this is Big Mama here. And she's over 400. And, uh, and, uh, we recently picked up this guy, which is, uh, he will be Big Daddy. He's Little Daddy right now. Uh, he, uh, from the same people we got the, our other pigs from, so they're all uh, Berkshires. Uh, he's warming up to us. He's a little sketchy. We keep him in here because they weren't too sure, but they're, they're all warming up to him, to him now. Uh, so this is an intact male. Meaning he's not been fixed. He still got his uh, his stuff, so he can breed. Uh, it'll be I don't know. I think they said about nine months more before he's ready. I was going to do the AI artificial thing, and I've I've been you know tracking her cycles and and keeping track on the on the calendar. She was really late coming in, man. So uh, or maybe I was just missing them, but I'm pretty. I got them down pretty good when they're at. Uh, but, uh, for us, you know, ordering that stuff, it's, you know, it's, it's kind of costly. It's about 50 bucks just for the stuff, but then you need the supplies to do it. And then the shipping, you know, we live pretty far out. We don't get all kinds of mail here. We get only certain kinds, uh, of shipping freight here. So, uh, getting that over here and still, it, it's still cold because it has to be for the insemination. And, oh man, we start thinking about that. It's, can't really afford all that. So we thought it'd be better just to get, get a mail. And breed them that way. So uh, we're gonna. It's gonna be a little bit, you know, a few more months before it, for for it kicks off. But uh, I think it's it's the best choice in the long run. Uh, you know, we got feed costs, but uh, I mean, uh, we don't have a garbage disposal. There are there are all the leftovers, and then anything from the farm, you know, and and stuff we can grow goes to them. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, he's cool. Cool little piggy. Uh, so yeah, that's where we're on that. So yeah, I scratched the the AI thing. Uh, that was the plan in in the beginnings, but uh, uh, we decided to go with this route. And and I think I think this is going to work. He's a little scared. I think that's going to work bigger in the in the long run for uh, Big Mama here. Uh, yeah, they're good piggies. So uh, anyway, yeah, that the butchering class was really cool. Uh, learned a shitload of that. We did it right here in the open. Hung them, hung them up on the tractor, and uh, you know, it took quite a while. It took us about all day before he got it, you know, into wrapped up and into the freezer. But uh, uh, that was really cool. Uh, all right, I think that uh, I think that covers it.